Hello friends, welcome to this Java programming tutorial series. I am Dinesh Uriani, owner of Java blog by the name Learn Java by Examples. You can visit to this blog at the following link at www.habarspot.com. Do visit to this blog if you want to learn this great programming language. And today I will be continuing to teach you Java programming language. So let's get started. Hello friends, let's continue with our Java programming tutorial series. Today we will discuss what are increment and decrement operators in Java. So friends, increment and decrement operators are basically known as unary, unary operators because they perform manipulation on a single operand. So what does they do? They increment or decrement the value of an operand by one. And basically in Java they come in two flavors there are prefix and postfix so prefix comes with a form of say plus plus x plus plus i or minus minus x say minus minus i where x and i are identifiers or say variables and it also comes with another flavor say postfix form postfix forms are nothing but x plus plus or x minus minus so in order to see the working of the prefix and postfix form let's go to eclipse and see how it works so here is our eclipse window now let's create a class right click new class increment decrement demo we'll click finish and our class gets created so first we will create a method, the main method, public static void main now inside the main method we will create two variables say int x equals 10 and int y so let's first see the prefix form of the increment decrement operator so first we will look into first we will look into prefix form now suppose i assign y value as plus plus x so here plus plus x is an increment operator with having prefix form Let's print what are the values of x and y. The values of x and y are we do system dot out dot print ln x equals x and y equals y so this was the increment operator with prefix form now let's see the decrement operator with prefix form now suppose I again assign value 10 to x and perform y equals minus minus x so now it's the decrement operator with prefix form now let's say now let's print again the values of x and y system dot out dot print ln we'll just copy paste these things So now if we run the program we see the values of x and y are x comes out to be 11 and y comes out to be 11 and in second case x comes out to be 9 and y comes out to be 9. So what actually happens when we do the 
prefix increment and prefix decrement operator first when compiler execute this line it see it sees that this is prefix increment operator so what compiler does it it takes the value of x it increments it by 1 and then it assigns y the value of x so initially the value of x was 10 it incremented it by 1 so now x so x plus 1 became 11 and it assigned 11 to x and then in the second statement it align, uh, assigned this 11 to y that's why that's why our values came as x equals 11 and y equals 11 so let's move ahead now what this decrement prefix did initially when compiler execute a uh, compiler executed this statement it executed it as it took the x it assigned x minus 1 to it and then it assigned y equals x so it initially value of x was 10 it did minus to it so and it assigned it back to x so x now became 9 and and finally the second statement it assigned the x value of x to y so it assigned 9 to y that's why in the output we got x equals to 9 and y equals to 9 now friends let's move ahead with the postfix increment and decrement operator now we'll see postfix form so here i again assign x equals 10 and now to y i assign x plus plus so here this time it's postfix increment and let's print out the value of x and y i'll just copy paste this thing so i just copy paste the things which i did initially and now let's say i assign x back to 10 and i do the postfix decrement operator x minus minus and i again just copy this line and i paste it here so friends when we run the program again we see the value of x and y in the second case comes out to be x comes out to be 11 and y comes out to be 9 10, 10 and in the second case x comes out to be 9 and y comes out to be 10 so let's see what happens behind the scenes when compiler execute this line what it see that it's a postfix postfix increment after means it has to do increment of x after assigning the value it to the y so here it what it did it took the value of y it assigned x to it and in the second statement it did x equals x plus 1 so in our case initially value of x was 10 it assigned y the value 10 and then it incremented the value of x by 1 so here if we see the value of x and y are x comes out to be 11 and y comes out to be 10 so let's move ahead with the postfix decrement operator when compiler execute this line it, it do something like this it assign y equals x and then the second statement it execute as x 
equals x minus 1 so initially x value was 10 it directly initialized y with the value of x and then it decremented value of x by 1 so in the console you can see that x comes out to be 9 and y comes out to be the 10, 10 only so friend these were the increment and decrement operators working in java so let's just review what we did initially we created one class by increment decrement demo then we created a method inside it which was the public static void main this method is called by the jvm whenever the program gets executed now here first we created created an int variable and assigned it a value say 10 we just declared a variable y now here we first look into the prefix form so what we did what are the prefix form plus plus x minus minus x so first we saw the increment prefix operator here we assigned y equal to plus plus x so what when when the compiler executes this line it actually executes two lines two statements at a time in the prefix form it does something like this it increments the value of x by 1 and then assign the x to y and if we, we did this is out here and then in the decrement when it execute this line of code execute actually two lines of codes as first it decrements the value of x by 1 and then assign the x to the y so this was our prefix increment and decrement operator now let's look at postfix form I assigned the x the value 10 again this is the postfix form x plus plus and x minus minus first we will look the increment postfix form here when compiler execute this line of code it actually does it actually execute these two lines together so what it does it takes the value of x and assign it to y and then it increments the value of x by 1 and same is the case with the decrement operator it takes it takes the value of x and assign it to y and then it decrements the x by 1 and when we outputted the value on the console we found this so friends today we saw the usage of increment and decrement operators in java so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye